So I know I've made a video about this before, um, but there have been a few updates to it, so I've decided to make another video. This is what I love and affectionately refer to as my oh shit kit. These are for all the moments as an athletic trainer that uh, make me say oh shit. Um, they also call them jump bags um, in the EMS world. Um, cardiac emergency bags, I've seen them referred to as just plain old emergency bags. Um, loving and endearingly, I call this my oh shit kit. Up front here, I have a party, Cardiac Science Power Heart G3 edition, making sure it's always rescue ready with the green. Love the Power Heart. Um, they're great products. Um, they have a G5, which is the newer one. Highly recommend that. G3s are still great too. Another great addition here is I now have skate guards, which are clipped to the outside of the bag, which are easily accessible. The reason I added skate guards is now my full-time position is with a hockey team. If I need to transport an athlete via a spine board or really at all, or a vacuum splint, I need to throw one of those on the lower legs, or if I'm doing a full body vacuum splint, now have the opportunity to protect the skate blades. That way they don't cut myself or the EMS providers who are also providing care. On this side here, I have all my airways. I carry air, eye gel size three, four, five. I also carry three inch silk tape, which is great for securing heads to backboards if needed. There's also a little sharps container, sharps bullet container in here as well a biohazard bag um, just for anything that I might need to clean up. On this side here, I carry all of my vitals, an adult and child blood pressure cuff, glucometer, stethoscope, pulse ox, oral thermometer, and probe covers. Another thing that I carry in here is an electronic screwdriver. Luckily in my setting, all of my athletes do not have cages on them, so I am able to access airway immediately if needed. But there's always a chance that I might have to take off a helmet or remove whatever I need to remove in order to get access to airways. Having an electronic screwdriver is great um, if needed. These two side pockets can be accessed on the other side, both the front and the back. They make organization very easy. The main compartment's opened up in the back over here. Main compartment is nice and organized. Organization is key, helps me know where everything is. In the back, I've got a multi-trauma dressing, a 10 by 30. I also have my extra spare set of electrodes here as well. Up top over here, I've got two things, a cure lex, other people call them rolled gauze, whatever you want to call them. Um, great for wound packing, securing on sand splints, anything of that nature. Here's my BVM. It is a cyclone pocket BVM. I highly recommend these over the traditional BVMs just due to the fact that they take up much less space, um, but they still function as a one liter bag for your BVM. This one here is my OPAs and my NPAs. Um, one thing that I like to do with my NPAs is I like to make sure that they all have lubrication jelly already attached to them. So that's one less thing I'm having to dig out. So it's got the jelly just taped on, easy to grab off in order to do it. I also have all of my OP or my NPAs organized by size, goes from smallest to largest, helps me identify which, which size I'm gonna use a little bit easier. In here, this middle compartment is going to be my trauma bag or my stop the bleed bag, excuse me. It's going to have my gloves, my compressed gauze, triangular bandages, a tourniquet, uh, hyphen chest seals, Israeli bandages, anything else that I might need to use for stopping the bleed. I always have a trusty towel. Um, I also carry a towel with me on the bench, but it's always good to have another one just in case I need to grab an O-shake kit and I don't happen to have a towel with me. Back here is my meds and miscellaneous compartment. I've got glucose gel, I've got a SAM splint, I've got Narcan, I've got EpiPens. I also have a skate blade remover tool. If for some reason I can't throw the skate guards on, I also have the opportunity to remove the blade um, from the skate without taking the skate off itself. Um, great to have, again, that's very specific to my setting. On this side here, I have just a little minor boo-boo pouch, um, band-aids, alcohol wipes, things of that nature never really go into this just felt like throwing it in there because i have the space one thing that i see a lot of people not having in their stop the bleed kits is a mylar blanket one of the largest causes of death in major trauma is hypothermia if i can keep an athlete warm um, i'm going to keep an athlete warm it might not even have to be in hypo, a hypothermic situation especially with my setting my athletes are already going to be laying on ice if they're going to be laying on ice for an extended period of time i'm going to try and keep them warm with the mylar blanket that basically rounds out my oh shit kit. If you have any questions about any of the products in here, please let me know. I've also posted a list of everything that I have in my oh shit kit. Um, emergency oxygen is in a separate bag that I have. Um, 
that just contains the oxygen tank and uh, as well as oxygen delivery, nasal cannulas, uh, non-rebreather masks, things of that nature. Uh, rem remember to make sure that you only use tools and um, tricks that you've been properly trained in and that your scope of practice is in and you have standing orders for. If you have any questions, let me know.